All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Eistein here. New wins, old friends. Eistein would have you enlist the aid of Sid Garlog. All right, let's get on up there. Hmm. A force of significant power to break through a primal's defenses might convincingly grant us access to the airy. And I can offer no better solution. Pray consult this engineer friend of yours. Very well. Once the condition that you swear not to lure Nighthawk from his lair in our absence. And steal all the glory for myself, you mean? Nay. I'm not so selfish as that. Contact me by Link Pearl when your preparations are complete, and we shall set forth from Ishgar together. I suggest we rendezvous back at St. Rene's Forum, sick man. From what I gleaned the Holy See's decently ambitious airship project, Sid will still be in Ishgar. Uh oh, the plot's thickening. So speak with Alphmid at St. Rene's Forum. So we need to head on back to Othelius. by Air City or wherever we're at we will be back they need to fix the city up but then the dragons will just destroy it again there you are old boy when you last saw Master Garloin, he was advising the Guardians on their ailing airship. Correct? In that case, he might still be at the Camp Cloudtop. Failing that, we could try the airship landing, or mayhap even the Skysteel manufacturing. But let us not waste time searching aimlessly. Someone in the city is sure to know where to find him. The question is who, Sir Amag? would seem the obvious choice, but there's no guarantee you will be able to grant us an audience at short notice. Ah, I have it. Count Edmont's youngest son prides himself on knowing all of the Holy See's juiciest rumors. Let us return to the manor and see if the Lord Elmans is about. Alright, let's get what we get to. So we need to head up north this way. Let's go up these stairs right here, or or we can take I don't even know where I'm going. We're going to the last vigil. There we go. Now, there's the gatekeep, right where we want to be. Welcome, Master Poker. Shall I show you to Manor? Yes, you shall. Enter House Forums. All right, little one. Give me some juicy rumors. Ah, the hero returns. How goes the fight, old boy? Well, I trust. Huh. In search of a Sid Garland, you say? Then say no more. The taverns are full of talk, and the names of said silver-haired geniuses has cropped up more often than most. I hear he has been tasked with getting that monstrous airship, the Holy Sea Commission, to actually fly. It would seem the project has been plagued with mishaps from the first. In any case, Gall and Iowa's employees are known to frequent the airship landing, and I'll wager their master does too. 
the airship landing? Yes, I thought as much. Come, Tick Man, we must find Sid and trouble him for his expert opinion. Thank you, little one. We are off. Go find Sid. And this should take me to the airship landing right here. Gates of Judgment. Athenium or Scalio. That one. There it is. And there's Sid and his crew. Hello, bitch. What's that? There are dragons coming? Uh, sorry, can't talk now. Had to finish this job and get out of here. Bitch guards come under attack. We'll have to get out of the city. Pretty sharpish. Don't much like the idea of leaving a job half finished, though. Thick man, Alphanet. How fare you both? Not terribly well, judging by your faces. Greetings, Master Garland. I'm sure it will come as no surprise when I tell you we have need of a favor. You probably already knew that. Okay, tell them the story. Another wind barrier, and you say it was conjured by Nighthawk? Huh, the Enterprise could certainly take you where you need to go, but she would not fare well against dragons. She's agile for a ship her size, but not that agile. Trevanians would fly rings around her. And. If they took it into their heads to incinerate the rigging, that would be precious little we could do to avoid them. But there must be something we could do, some manner of weapon we could employ. Einstein stands vigil at the edge of the chasing mists, but we do not know how much longer. All right, all right. I didn't say it was possible. I said it was impossible for the Enterprise. We need a smaller boat. Briggs, which it's time we gave that new toy of yours a proper field test. They're excited for that. Got a new toy. It's probably best if I let the lad show you. Come on, the manufacturing's not far. Going to the manufacturing. Sky Steel Manufacturing. That's back down there. So, oh, there's a porter named Sky Steel Manufacturing. Let's head back up these stairs and head on over. Little crystal right shot. Right there it is. Now, let's go see this new toy. All right, Sid's here. Dish guards have granted us the use of a small corner of their workshop, all part of the agreement. I think you see we've made most of the space. What are you saying, Lich? They all want to build bigger, but we know where the future is headed. Alfred? Ah, uh, yes. The Sky Steel Manufactory, as I recall, this workshop is primarily devoted to the construction of dragon slaying weapons. Our little project just inside. Oh, you're going to like this one. Don't doubt it. Show me what you got. Show me what you're working on. 
feast your eyes upon our latest and greatest feat of engineering. We call it a mana cutter. After you put down Gaius, Wedge and me struck out on our own for a bit and started work on the successor to the tiny Bronco. Impressive little thing, isn't she? My talent for ship design has plainly rubbed off on them. They've adapted the principles of corrupted crystal technology and constructed a mechanism which converts ether from its surroundings into elemental wind. Said wind is then harnessed by the specially engineered sails, providing the craft with propulsion and lift. All in all, a most elegant solution. I'm actually a little upset that I didn't think of it myself. The design does, however, come with one small flaw. The energy conversion ratio is bloody awful. To generate enough power to get you off the ground, you need to be in an area awash with predominantly wind-aspected ether. In other words, there are a few places you can fly, and lots of places you can't. The new Ishgardian airship hasn't left the boys much time for tinkering, meaning it may be a while before this particular project takes off, if you'll forgive the pun. Taru, what's happened? I've been looking all over for you. There's been word from Alda. It's about Her Grace the Sultana. It seems you're required elsewhere. Leave the mana cutter with us. We'll see that she's airworthy and suitably equipped to slice through those winds. You, meanwhile, should concentrate on providing Raoban and the Sultana whatever help they need. That's it. New Wind's old friends. Complete. I like the design of that new wind cutter. It's looking pretty slicey. Get it? Cutter slice. Boom, quest complete. And that's it for today. So join us tomorrow with our mystery quest. We're probably gonna go help Satana. Until then, y'all take care. <laughs>